about the solar eclipse that will be cutting through Arkansas and Missouri on April 8th, which is a Monday. Now, if you don't have your eclipse glasses ready, these are important, you got to have a way to safely view this eclipse. So, we can show you how to make a pinpoint projector, and it's super easy. Let's go through the list of things that you'll need. Go to your pantry, a cereal box, cracker box, lunchable box, you name it, any sort of box. We need a pencil so that we can trace it on white paper. You'll need a little aluminum foil, scissors, tape, and here's the important part, a little thumbtack to make your pinhole projection. So first things first, grab your white paper, your pencil, and your box. We're going to trace around the bottom of this box. And then we're going to cut it out. Now once your white sheet of paper is cut out, you're simply going to place it in the bottom of the box. It's kind of like a movie screen down there. Next step, let's take aluminum foil. And since it can be a little flimsy, I'm going to double it over. We don't want it to break while we're out there looking. And then we're going to place it over the top of our box. Make sure you have room so that you can use your eye and look in there. Next, grab your thumbtack. This is an important step. And close to the edge, I want you to poke just one little hole through. That's your pinhole projection. Now that your pinhole projector is done, during the day of the eclipse, you're going to go outside. You're going to put the sun behind you. That's an important step. You're going to hold your box. This is where you'll place your eye, and you're going to look in. The sun's going to shine through that pinhole, and you're going to be able to safely view the eclipse at home. We are so very excited about that and cloud coverage for Monday. The eclipse will be Monday near 2 p.m. I think we reached totality in West Plains at about 154. We are going to be dealing with with some cloud coverage, but right now it looks like it would be higher clouds, kind of those wispy cirrus type clouds. If you head south and you're in the Dallas area, I think you have a better chance of seeing, you know, overcast skies. So as of right now, our forecast for the eclipse on Monday, 70 degree temperatures, winds out of the southwest, keeping us nice and warm with those high cloud coverage. I think we'll be able to have a pretty good view over most of Missouri. Now, here in Springfield, we're going to be about 95% obscured. The moon's going to block the sun by about 95%. There's a big difference in 95% and totality. For more on that, you need to go to our website, ozarksfirst.com. Well, we will have a look at all of your stories for tonight's news. Make sure you check out Color 10 at 5, 6, and 10, and Fox 49 at 6, 30, and 9. Have a great day, everyone.